everybody welcome to my channel you're drawing with Ray here so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna select the paintbrush tool I'm gonna create an outline of my letter E right now um, I did already draw this earlier so you're seeing the outline we're gonna make this look like a 3d effect we're gonna put a 3d effect on this E here so let me go ahead and finish my outline right now Connect the last piece. So what I'm gonna do right now is I created a new layer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and create the inner bevel of my E. So you guys can go ahead and follow along with me if you want. Uh, this letter E page is uh, free printable on my website. My website's name is Artist11 Design Studio. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, put that link in my description. You can download all of my drawing pages here for free. Um, they're available on my website. So go ahead and finish my bevel all the way around the letter E right now. I'm almost done. There we go. So what I did is I selected, I actually copied my, uh, my outline and I changed it to blue and color overlay. Uh, this is going to allow me to select each section uh, the way I want to and color it accordingly. So I'm going to do the lower bevel a darker blue, the top bevels I'm going to do a lighter blue, and this is going to be the base for the rest of my letter E drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, coloring in the top part of the bevel. It's going to be a light blue. I'll go ahead and go through and select each section that I want colored in. There's the dark blue just like the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and finish off the top little section of the inner part of the E. It'll be light blue just like the rest of it. So you're going to see me selecting that color and finishing it off. There we go, just like that. So I'm liking so far how everything's coming out. You got a nice little base uh, color for the 3d effect so what I'll do next is you'll see me I'm gonna go ahead and get the selection tool select the layer of the color that I want to color in and you're gonna start to see me adding in some nice shadowing effects uh, selecting a brush tool that's a, like kind of a blending brush so that I can make some seamless um, blending on this letter E and then it's gonna start to come alive a little bit you're going to start to see it take shape. And so I went ahead and selected a darker blue color. Um, like I said, you're going to see me selecting various colors, messing with the colors, making sure that it works for the piece. So you'll see me going back and forth and trying to make those artistic decisions. Um, I selected the bottom bevel. I'm trying to stay consistent. So I'm doing each section like kind of the same going up. So there's the center part of the E, finish the top part of the E, and I'm just going to continue to go around. You know, I'm really liking this design. I think you guys should be able to follow along either on paper or you can follow along. I happen to be using Affinity Photo. You could do the same effects with Photoshop, and I'm sure there's a lot of other programs out there like Procreate or anything like that. So feel free to follow along in any form you want to. So, you know, as I'm kind of figuring out what to do here, I'm trying to figure out, you know, which layer to select and which color to use. And so once I got my layers, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing you see me do to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and blend in a little bit. Now, just remember, just because I'm starting with blue here doesn't mean that you guys have to use blue. You can use the same principles um, using red, using green, using any color. You're just going to use a lighter form of that color or a darker form of that color to get the blending effects. So feel free to choose your own color if you want to. It's uh, perfectly fine with me. And if you're using color pencil or if you're following along with my drawing page that I told you guys was available as a free download on my website. My website is artist11designstudio.com. So go ahead and you know check out all my free printables there. Like I said, they are free. Um, so right here, I kind of decided on what color I thought I was going to put green into my design and I changed my mind on that. 
uh, it didn't quite fit my color scheme that um, I was going for. So you're going to see me uh, quite a bit play with color. And you're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to be taking the same amount of time that I am to decide on what colors to use. And that is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to finish off the last part of the like the inner E. Uh, make it a little darker. It's going to give it that 3D effect a little bit better here. And then also coming up too, you're going to see me mess with some like some highlights coming up. So I will select the appropriate section and I'll start to draw in some highlights just like that. Uh, let me get the right color, the right brush. I'm just messing with the settings, the opacity, the clarity, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to fill in some of these highlights. Now, the reason why I select the actual underlying color, it keeps me, uh, my job a little easier. I end up not having as many mistakes because I do have a, a border. And the border is a um, pretty good tool to use. So you guys should, you know, start to practice that. It comes in handy quite a bit. So we're starting to get into kind of the fun part for me is throwing in the highlights on the graffiti style letter E. So I'm going to go ahead and I do have a brush tool selected. I have the look at my clarity, the opacity. I change my settings. You know, I want it so it blends in seamlessly. I do have a brush tool. The brush tool is kind of like a blurred brush tool. So for me, it works just great. And you're going to see me throw in my highlights, a little bit of a lighter blue. It's going to start to pop off the page a little bit more right now. I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up just a little bit to get through this highlighting area. So you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Pick your lighter blue and fill in the highlights just like I did. So next what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a copy of the E, uh, rasterize it, and then create a color overlay of it of black. And that's what created this a uh, simple quick and easy shadowing effect that we just did right now so once we're done with the shadowing effect we're going to go ahead and go around uh, create a new layer or work on the same black layer with the black letter E and just kind of fill in some little areas of the shadow that need to be filled in so that's what you guys are going to see me doing next right now we're coming up on the end of this video um, I'm going to still be on the same black layer. And now where's where we get to have some fun, you guys. We're going to go ahead and do some like nice drips coming off our E. Uh, you can put them wherever you want. Uh, use your own style. You know, put them in your own spots if you choose to. And I'm just going to go around and select what I like. And if it doesn't work, just go ahead and erase it and try a different spot. You know, now I'm kind of playing with some circles here all around my piece, putting them in areas that I happen to like. Uh, you can go ahead and draw these in, color these in if you're using pencil, if you're using color pencil. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and see about maybe adding in some more drips. We're also going to use the deep color blue coming up. And we're going to start to use that as to add some more depth and some more color to our background right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and select a new layer. Like I just stated, get my dark blue. Uh, start putting in some, some nice background color. Kind of still keeping it dark like it's in the shadow. And I'm going to be working the design. Uh, selecting where I think the blue should go. So I think that it, you know, it looked good on the drips a little bit. So I'm going to bring in some of that dark blue on these drips, just, just slightly, just to, you know, kind of help out with the overall design and effect. So once again, you know, you guys, thank you for, you know, if you got into this video and you're still here, uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, like my videos if you so choose to. Um, you can also pick up this letter E free download on my website like I stated earlier. Um, everything's free on there for download if it's from one of my drawing videos. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my outline layer. I'm going to select the entire E 
And once I have that selection done, I'm going to start to add in these um, highlights. I went over to the effects area and I selected a specific effect uh, to go ahead and create this nice like little uh, faint highlight area around my whole design. All right, guys, you know, this is the pretty much the last part of the video. Uh, selecting these final little touches here and there and I do thank you guys for watching please subscribe um, I think it was a fun video for me to create and if you guys have any other you know ideas and want to see my full-length videos without all the editing just go ahead and leave it in the comment area so here we go the final little touches uh, we're gonna draw in some nice little flashes of light. You can select whichever area you want to put this on. If you're using the computer, all I do is take a brush tool, um, draw it in, and then you're going to see me blur it. So I just go to the um, blur section of the filters over there and select a Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to blur it out. And that's the last part of the design. You know, it gives it a little pop. So I hope you guys liked it. So that's the drawing, the letter E, with your boy Ray here. And we're all done. Take care. Have a good one.